Hello guys. Well, today we are going to have a very useful and interesting lesson on pseudo-rigging a character and walking cycle in Procreate Dreams. Well, are you ready? Let's get started. I already have an illustration prepared in advance. I drew Totoro. Let's go over the composition settings that I have set. Frames per second to 15. Duration to 1. Okay, and now I will show you what parts the character should consist of to make a looped walk. So, the general principle is that you need to draw each detail on a separate track. I have a group with a front leg. Consists of a foot and a main part. Next is a group with an arm. Front ear. Eye and moustache. Elements on the belly, the belly itself. A clipping mask is set on the body layer on the track with details on the belly and with the belly. This is necessary so that the contours do not go beyond the edges of our character's body. Head. Next comes the tail. The back leg. It also consists of a foot and a main part. Next comes the nose and the back ear. It is important to keep all these elements on separate layers and it is even better if it is a group. Also, it is important to set the full duration for each of these layers so that they occupy the entire composition in length. Now we need to move each of these groups and layers forward one frame so that they are outside of one second. Now go to the Timeline Edit mode and click on the group. Great, our preparation is complete, let's move on to the animation itself. Call the action panel on our group, select the Move item, and move and scale. OK, we have set the first keyframe. Next, we need to set the keyframe outside the composition to loop it. But the program does not allow us to set it there, so we set it on the last frame and with the pen held down, move it outside the composition. OK, let's move on. Set another keyframe, approximately in the middle of the composition. For me, it is somewhere around frame 8. Next, go to the fourth frame. Also set the keyframe and move our group up a little. Great, we do the same for frame 12. Let's see what we've got. For now, Totoro is moving up and down in a loop. This is a basic animation to make the walk. Now, to continue animating the legs, I draw a horizontal line and apply full duration to it. This is also necessary to orient ourselves to the plane along which the character will walk. So, we open our group and find the layer with the belly. Call the action panel, also click Move, Move, and Scale. We have the first keyframe set up. Now, by analogy with the previous one, we will set the keyframe on the last frame and move it beyond the first second. This will make the animation looped, without pauses. Now we go to the eighth frame. We also set the keyframe. We need to make the effect of body rotation, so the belly will move right and left, that is, back and forth. And on this keyframe, we move the belly to the right. Because of the mask, it does not go beyond the boundaries. Let's see what we get. OK, now we do the same for the layers with check marks. Press Move and Scale. Set the keyframe outside the composition and set the keyframe in the center and move the check marks to the right. Look at the preview. That's what we need. So let's move on to the legs. Find the layer with the back leg and turn it off. 
Now find the layer with the front leg and first turn off the foot. And then we also apply move and scale to the group with the whole leg. Set the next keyframe outside the composition. Now on the 8th frame, we set the keyframe and click three points near the shape. Select Edit Anchor. We need to move the pointer somewhere in the place where the leg is attached to the body. Click Done. Next, when you click on any of the points, we get an additional control for rotation. Let's turn the leg and move it forward. Let's see what we've got. Let's go to frame 12 and lower the leg down, since when walking, the leg returns without lifting off the ground. Let's see what we've got. Excellent. Now open the group and select the layer with the foot. Also apply Move and Scale. Set the keyframe outside the composition. Now let's move to frame 9. And also click Edit Anchor. Set it in the place where the foot is attached to the main part of the leg. Here we need to make sure that the foot connects to our floor. I didn't finish the figure a little, so I'm finishing the shape so that there are no gaps. And now we need to finish the leg swing. Let's do it on frame 6. Apply rotation upwards, as if he were lifting his foot. Look at the preview. I want to edit a little and make the angle of the foot a little higher. Look at the preview. Great. Let's move on to the back leg. Let's hide the track with the foot in the same way. Apply Move, Move and Scale to the group itself. Make a keyframe at the end of the composition, move it outside. On frame 8, set a keyframe, click Edit Anchor, Move the pointer to the place where the leg is attached to the body. Now we can apply rotation and move the leg back. Great, look at what we get. It's already starting to look like a walk. For the back leg, the return back should also touch the floor. So somewhere on the fifth keyframe, move the leg a little lower. Okay, that's better. Now turn on the layer with the foot. Apply Move and Scale. Also set a keyframe outside the composition and on frame 8. Press Edit Anchor. Done and apply rotation so that the foot touches the floor. Great. Now somewhere around frame 13, let's lift the foot up. Let's see what we've got. Okay, our character is already walking. Let's continue animating all the parts. Now let's move on to the arm. Find the right layer. First, I move it forward a little. Okay, now apply Move, Move and Scale. 
and also set the same keyframe outside the composition. Go to frame 8, here press Edit Anchor and also move it to the place where the arm is attached to the body. Next, turn the arm back and move it. It should move about the same way as the back leg. Let's see what we've got. Great! So, the tail is next in line. Find the right layer. And set the anchor point. Call the action panel. Press move, move and scale. Also set the keyframe outside the composition. The tail should always touch the ground, so let's lower it on the fourth frame and rotate it a little. Then, when the body goes down, the tail is fine. And on the second rise, let's also set a keyframe, rotate the tail down, and move it. Watch the preview. Now let's move on to the front ear. Also call Move and Scale. Another keyframe outside the composition. Let's go and set a keyframe on the 8th frame. Now move somewhere to the 4th and set Anchor. Move it forward and rotate it forward, approximately where the back ear is now. Ok, here I mixed something up with the keyframes, so let's move this keyframe from the 4th to the 8th, and see what we get. It's time for the back ear. So let's also set keyframes on the first frame and on the last one outside the composition. Next, in the middle on the 8th frame, we edit the anchor and turn the ear back. Let's see what we got. OK. Now we select the group with the eye and moustache. We also set the keyframe, move and scale on the first and last frame outside the composition. We move to the eighth frame. Here the face should turn away from the camera, so we move it a little to the right. I also set the anchor point closer to the nose. And you can reduce the width of the group a little. Let's look at the preview. And we are left with the nose. Everything is similar here. We set the keyframes on the first and last frame outside the composition. And we go to frame 8. Here we change the anchor, somewhere in the place of attachment to the head. And also reduce the width of the nose, it should be as if it is turned away from the screen. And now let's look at our final preview. This is the animation we got today. We discussed how to make a looped walk, how to prepare an illustration, and what settings to set. In order to make a walk where the character has knees, we will have to make more layers, and this walk will be a little more complicated. If you are interested in learning, I can make a similar lesson, write about it in the comments. Or if you are interested in something similar, for example running, then also write. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope you found it interesting and useful. See you in the next videos.